finally got my camera sorted. I'm gonna do a quick review on uh, the KTM on my way to work. At the moment, I have Akrapovic kit on, which is part of the KTM power parts. Makes a massive difference through a 125 anyway. And I forgot my phone, so I'm going to have to turn around. At the moment the baffle's in, but when the baffle's out it sounds quite nice but a bit a bit OTT loud during slow speeds. I did an exercise class on Tuesday night and I'm all stiff. So I'm walking weirdly. As soon as I get to work, I'm making myself a coffee because I need one. Technically, I'd have to set off for like another 20 minutes, but I like to be early. So I've put 10,000 miles on my bike, I think it's at 10.21 now, worst thing is my job's very active so I don't know how I'm going to cope because I can't even walk, hardly. I think I got a half hour lunch today, even though I start two hours later. You alright? He's a very nice man, good to talk to. Anyway, my, so yeah, my camera wasn't working very well. Kept cutting out and whatnot, but I went to go and fill up, uh, well, pump up my tyres the station, nice man, patiently waiting while I messed about getting some change for the machine and then I uh, had a bit of a chat with him and he's had a long long history of bikes and he's still pro biker but unfortunately he's a bit old to ride apparently <clears throat> so yeah, the KTM, very nice bike I wouldn't say it was ideal for very, very, very early learners, because <coughs> it's based on a sports bike, GP type bike, so the clutch is more or less on off. Is she going to let me go? Thank you. Very nice bike to ride, yeah. I'm probably going to repeat myself a lot because I'm dreading work. <laughs> Hopefully no one watches this who works with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's another good thing about being on a bike is you get little kids waving to you. It's quite a nice feeling. The only thing is as soon as I see the L plate, I think, oh, chav. 
or whatever, but I don't ride like a lot of the L platers that you see. As pretty much every biker does, they have the moments where they pull throttle back here. Let's say harder than usual on a road. But my engine's cold, so I'm not really going to be thrashing it, but I'll show you the acceleration. Had a bit of a breakdown with the bike, it's a very bad KTM design where water gets in the tank. And that caused it to backfire like mad and eventually break down. So I got recovered on the way home and they scratched my bike, how could they? It was where the what the strap that they used to hold the bike down. Anyway, so KTM. Once again, very nice bike. Wouldn't say it was too ideal for very early learners. As I say, with the clutch, is more or less on off. So it can get a bit to get used to. But once you had a go on a few 125s, as you know, my 50ccs were all twist and goes. I'd had a few goes on a 125 and a 1200. Uh, that was a BMW, old... Um, old style, it's not the GS but it's the similar sort of name the bike standard can get to its top speed but it's more or less when you go in on a slight downhill with the wind behind you which is 80, well mine's 83 in the rev limiter uh, they are supposed to do 84, I've had 84 but with the Acropovic on straight to 75, not a problem 80 with no headwind not really too much of a problem compared to when it's standard I mean, this is sixth gear pulling, just absolutely no problem at all. Best part of sixth gear is seven and a half thousand revs, roughly 56, 57 mile an hour, and that's when it starts to pull. I don't know whether you call it a power band or not, but that's just when it starts to pull. Right now that the engine's warmed up, I'll back off on this truck a bit. I might get past, I might get past, I might get past. No, I won't get past. That's another limitation of the 125 is you've got to pick your gaps and pick your gears very carefully. Okay, so this is how I'm about to pull the throttle back. Why is this truck so far to right? I can't see anything. See, he's driving on white lines. Bloody idiot. There we go, it's pulling now. 65 slight bit of headwind but nothing too much 70 it's absolutely no problem I watched Spicy's video at the top speed and this was like 69 70 70 thank you headwind slightly stronger around here Still 65, not a problem, 66, 67. Yeah, Badger Spice's video is funny, so he was like 70. 70. It's so funny. But this, 75, not a problem. Bear in mind, this is with the Ankropovic exhaust on, which is supposed to have roughly two, oh, well, up to two brake horse. I've ran mining properly, done everything properly. So uh, it's got it's got more or less the same power as what it should have. And I disagree with people saying that the KTM has a bit of a funny gearbox. But now I know why. Because fifth can play up. It's only just recently started playing up a bit. Nothing too major, just every now and again it won't go in perfectly 
and sixth gear every now and again, put it into sixth and it'll just keep going in and out of gear so false neutral into gear, false neutral into gear etc and it'll flash like mad on dashboard so yeah otherwise very nice light bike, it's only about 10 or 20 kilos heavier than my 50cc which is just more or less a block of steel with an engine and all that 4.63 brake course when it was new and now we're up to about 17 I haven't had it on a rolling road yet see how much it's producing but it's keeping up pretty well with everything really and ever since I got the Akropovic headwind less of a problem for a 125 headwind's always going to be a problem but with the Akropovic it's a lot less of a problem the fuel consumption it, I can't really say anything for definite because each day I go on a different road not including the road to work, this is the same route to work every day but generally 140, 160 I've had 220, no 230 miles on a tank before and I was going up to Whitby following all speed limits and I got there and it only used one bar where all other bikes which were big 650 plus were needing to almost fill up but as it wears it starts using more and more fuel which I've noticed as I went to Whitby and it had used two well it should two bars down but it used a bit more than two bars it's all gully uh, emptying today I think it was on last night as well So yeah, the headlight when I got it brand new was far too high and it was a very bright light. And with it being what I call a bean. I can't get past that right. Yeah. With it being sort of coming from a beam which is like that. It's a very bright light in a sense. The stock bulbs are brilliant, but I'd highly recommend getting one of them 120%, well, up to 120% extra brightness, because it does make a massive difference. An absolutely amazing difference. I mean, for the sake of 35 quid, you might as well be able to see and be able to see, be, be seen better. Traffic's not normally this bad when I come to work at, well, 4, 10 o'clock. My engine's fully warmed up, so I might be able to play around a bit and show you how good this little beast is. For 125, it is absolutely insane. I've ridden quite a lot of 125s from the CG, the old CG. Uh, I've ridden. Let's see what else have I ridden. I've ridden the YZFR, the YZF normal 125. Uh, obviously I've ridden scooters I had to go on a 125 scooter that was a bit of fun but I wouldn't really have one if I'm honest dare I go past these cars and things no yes maybe This is fifth. Going to sixth. So with a 125, you're a bit limited to overtaking because you don't really have enough power to be able to sneak through gaps. So you got to wait for a nice nice decent gap so other than 
in a bad way. Other than the bad design fault of the fuel tank. Then it's a really good bike. They're not the best in winter. As I'm an all-weather biker, plus it's my only transport to work and back. Uh, the reviews and people said it's not designed for winter, it's a fair fair weather bike which is fair enough because it's meant for the track and realistically you don't use track bikes in the wet in a sense, I'm not saying they don't do it at all First time I've seen one of them tractor thingy majiggies with a trailer on. It's quite interesting that, for some reason. So yeah. So the end bit's just going to be me finishing off my ride to work. So basically the video is finished now. I don't have an editing thing or even a laptop to be able to do editing or change things so what's said said and what's done is done so thanks for watching please subscribe and check in for my later videos oh, I've got a truck coming this way now oh, I just cut off my lane it's fine Oh, idiot. Wrong lane, you idiot. You're an idiot, idiot. I hate being stuck behind trucks on this road, it's a nice, fast, sweeping road. Well, obviously, speed limit fast. Come on, you can do more than 30. longest it's ever taken me to get to work. That includes rush hour, which is when I start at half seven. So the road's always packed then. The bike says 20 minutes, but I'm pretty sure it's been longer than that. Right now to start off at 20 past. 10 minutes. Oh yeah, it's been 20 minutes. Well, 21 minutes. Oh crap, I shouldn't wipe my visor. So I can't see anything apart from literal crap. I hope I plugged my microphone in. I think I did. I better have done. Uh, <laughs> I'll do a vlog with the baffle out at some stage. Possibly next Wednesday. I don't know how often I'll upload videos, it's just as and when I have time. And because I can't edit, I can't really do much unless it's a long video which no one will watch. Wow, nice tree. Squeal. Whenever, whenever I record, nothing happens, but as soon as I don't record, everything happens. That's what they usually say though, innit? So I got to work like two hours and then get half an hour off and then... Uh, four hours? Well, either four and a half or four hours. I'll work two and a half hours and do four hours. I'll just do two hours, maybe four and a half hours in the afternoon. God, that sounds like such a long time. Can I not just go home? I don't want to go home.
Oh, we all spun on to wet grey. But yeah, the KTM keeps up in traffic really well. And you can even get a lot of overtaking done. The car park's empty. Yeah. Work for another day. Well, barely a day. <laughs> 